The squeals say it all. This family gets very excited about science. You might even say they're electrified by it. Not many homes have a Van de Graaff generator to play with and make hair stand on end, or children quite so keen on science. There's Alistair. Uh, actually, I'd like to be an astronaut. Dominic. I want to be a paleontologist. And Rebecca too busy studying a triops, the planet's oldest living species, to discuss her future ambitions. Look at it, it's huge. Look at his little legs. But this home is headed by two top University of Saskatchewan scientists, Ingrid Pickering, the Canada Research Chair in Molecular and Environmental Science, and Graham George, the Canada Research Chair in X-ray Absorption Spectroscopy, even if here at home they're known as Mummy and Daddy. Daddy is a scientist. I am, yeah. Ma mommy's not a scientist. Oh, she is. She's not. She, because she's your mommy. Yeah. In fact, both mommy and daddy are two of the world's leading synchrotron scientists. That is, scientists who use the high-powered beams of light generated by a synchrotron to shed light on everything from cancer research to computer chips. The worldwide network of synchrotron scientists is still relatively small. You might even call it a family. An analogy Ingrid and Graham seem to have taken literally. They met and fell in love while working at a synchrotron in New York. Graham even fixed the schedule to help make it happen. <laughs> so you could get to know me a little bit better. I understand, is that yes, right? Yes, that's about accurate. <laughs> the couple is now in Saskatoon to use the Canadian light source synchrotron on the University of Saskatchewan campus. So these are the big CLS ion chambers, aren't they? They also hope to lead the construction of two new beam lines designed to use X-ray light to look at how metals affect the environment and living things. Their joint expertise is key to the proposed beam line success. The two have developed breakthrough methods of visualizing matter with X-rays, allowing them to see the molecular form of elements even in very low concentrations. And if you're wondering why that's important... It's not just the metal that matters, it's the molecule. Because the molecular form affects how it acts, how it's, you know, whether it's reactive or not, whether it's toxic to us or not. That's good news. That really is. The couple makes a dynamic duo of a research team, sharing their ideas and synchrotron savvy in promising ways. Ingrid is interested in plants called hyperaccumulators. One of them happens to grow wild in Saskatchewan, Astragalus bisulcatus, or loco weed. It takes up selenium, an essential element that's lethal in high doses. But selenium also has another interesting attribute. It can act as an antidote to arsenic, an element studied by Graham. That got Ingrid and Graham sharing ideas about a very serious problem worlds away, in Bangladesh, where tens of millions of people are suffering from arsenic poisoning as a result of tainted well water. We were thinking perhaps it's a selenium deficiency. And so um, this has moved on and a lot of other people became interested in the role of selenium and arsenic together in Bangladesh. And now there's a clinical trial underway Graham and Ingrid are now preparing to use the CLS synchrotron to test results from the clinical trial of selenium supplements. If it turns out they're right, it could mean improved health for millions of people around the world. It's a perfect example of the power of having two synchrotron heads in one family. But that's not where this family stops. Graham's brother Martin and his wife Serena both work at the synchrotron at Stanford, while Graham's brother Simon is at the synchrotron at Berkeley. So, were the George kids fed a special formula? I think my husband and I had a very good blueprint, that was all. <laughs> Five synchrotron scientists in one family, and counting. Son Dominic is convinced he'll need the synchrotron too, when he's a paleontologist. So look at the monocle, the parts of the monocle that was left of, of, the, of the animal. Who, which, which is fossilized. And with Mummy and Daddy working to build just the tools he'll need at the Canadian light source, the future looks very promising. I'm looking forward to the scientific discoveries that I'm completely confident will be forthcoming. For Research News at the University of Saskatchewan, I'm Jennifer Weber.